Roy Johnson was in his third year at the New York Times covering the NBA when he was assigned to cover Michael Jordan's first NBA game against the Knicks. It was six games into a season, and that team was really bad. People forget how bad the Bulls were then. They had won only 85 games in the total of the previous three seasons. The Bulls beat the Knicks 121 to 106. Jordan finished the night scoring 33 points. And after the game, Knicks small forward Bernard King was one of the first to notice the potential of Jordan. Jordan did not disappoint, and I think what Bernard King said was that if he gets some experience, let's hope that he's around the Western Conference by the time that happens. Jordan stayed with the Bulls, winning three straight NBA titles, but after a tragedy, he turned to the Birmingham Barons. His father was killed, and he was kind of burned out, and I think that looking back on that time, he needed a mental break. Later, Johnson was a senior editor for Sports Illustrated and talks about an incident that still haunts the magazine today, a cover shot of Jordan striking out. Personally, I thought that was one of the most embarrassing covers that we ever did because uh, to me, it disparaged someone who was trying. Michael was so incensed with the cover that he decided never to speak to Sports Illustrated again. All right, so if you had to name your top five of all time, who would it be? I would say Kareem, Bill Russell, Michael Jordan, uh, Magic, and Larry Bird. So no Kobe or LeBron? You had to make me make five. <laughs> Who's my five? Jared Oliver, WVTM 13.